Welcome to Currency Forward Contracts Part 2. The first minute or so of this tutorial is a review of Part 1. To jump straight to Part 2, you can skip about a minute or so of this tutorial. A currency forward contract is an agreement between two parties to exchange a fixed amount of one currency for another at an agreed upon future date. The exchange rate for the future deliveries is fixed in advance at the time of signing the agreement. Currency forward contracts can be either outright forwards or non-deliverable forwards. An outright forward contract calls for actual deliveries of the two currencies at a future date. An NDF is settled in a single currency such as the US dollar. Both the outright forwards and the NDFs can be used for speculation or risk management. This tutorial discusses NDFs. NDFs are commonly used for emerging market currencies but can be used for any currency. The emerging market currencies lack liquidity, so settling them in commonly used currencies provides a convenient way to hedge or speculate against them. Let's consider a US technology company that just delivered an order to a Thai customer and is expecting a payment of 30 million baht in 90 days. Assume the current spot rate is 30 baht per dollar. So the exporter has an accounts receivable of 1 million US dollars. However, the exporter is concerned that the baht may decline in 90 days in the spot market. If the spot rate moves to 33 baht per dollar when the payment is received, the exporter would actually wind up getting $90,909 lower than originally anticipated. To manage the potential risk, the exporter enters into an NDF contract with the bank. The bank goes the 90-day forward rate of 30 baht per dollar for purchasing the baht. This helps the exporter lock in a receipt of $1 million. The bank is essentially betting that the baht is going to rise in value. At t equals 90, the Thai customer delivers to the U.S. exporter an amount of 30 million baht. The exporter converts the amount at the spot rate, assuming the spot rate at t equals 90 to be 32 baht per dollar. The exporter receives 937,500 dollars. Since the bank promised to pay the exporter 1 million dollars, and since the baht depreciated the bank must pay the exporter a settlement amount of $62,500. Let's take a look at the timeline to visualize the cash flows. The exporter agrees to pay the bank 30 million baht at t equals 90. The bank agrees to pay the exporter $1 million at t equals 90. Both parties agree that the settlement will be done in dollars based on the spot rate that prevails at t equals 90. No money is exchanged at t equals 0. The exporter receives the 30 million baht from the importer at t equals 90. The exporter converts the 30 million baht to dollars at the spot rate of 32 baht per dollar in open market. The exporter receives $937,500 at the spot rate. As a settlement from the bank, the exporter receives $62,500 since the baht depreciated. Let's consider the scenario where the baht could appreciate to let's say 29 baht per dollar in the spot market at t equals 90. This means the exporter gets $1,034,482.76 at the spot rate. Since the exporter agreed to receive $1 million from the bank, the exporter pays the bank $34,482.76. In other words, this time the bank has won the bet. Here is the graphical representation. At t equals 90, the exporter receives 30 million baht from the customer. 
the exporter converts the amount at the spot rate of 29 and receives $1,034,483. Since the exporter agreed to receive $1 million from the bank, the exporter pays the bank $34,483. If the Thai customer fails to make the payment of 30 million baht at t equals 90, the exporter would still have to settle with the bank. In summary, an NDF contract is settled in a single currency upon maturity. An NDF contract can be used for speculation or risk management. No money is exchanged at the time of making the agreement. To manage the downside risk, any potential gain is sacrificed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful.